everybody and welcome back to another mech shop. Look at all these little bastards that I have painted, albeit not without some help from my uh, assistant uh, Debs, who actually helped paint um, quite a few of these, just the base colours and stuff, so thank you to her if you're watching. Um, but anyway guys, yes, I've been up to lots of grots as you can see. Now, this video isn't really about these grots. We're not going to go in and we're not going to look at every meticulous little detail on these little fuckers. What we're actually going to be looking at today is some really nice classic old school miniatures. But basically, let me explain what's going on. So, with the Dreadmob army, you can have some grot scavs. Now, they have grenades, which is different from actual regular grots in the Orc Codex. So I thought to myself, well, they're a brilliant unit. They're really, really cheap. You get a lot of bodies and they're just a great tar pit unit to tar pit stuff up with. However, I was thinking to myself, well, I've got all these grots and I need a, need a slaver. So I was thinking, what do I have that I can use as a slaver? I thought, well, I've got the slaver models that come with the new grot sprues and stuff like that. By the way, guys, these are a mixture of the new grot and the old school grots as well, the old metal ones, just to give a bit of variety in there. But whilst I like the slaver model quite a bit, I thought to myself, well, I like having something a little bit unique, a little bit something that people haven't really seen before or haven't seen in a very long time. And that is why, guys, I have painted this fella up for you. That's right, guys. This is the old Zodgrod Wartsnagger model from, like, second edition or whatever it was. This model I've had sat around in my bits box for probably just over 11 years. No, but actually about 12 years he has sat unpainted and unloved. Now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit for you so you can see the detail because guys this model is chock-a-block full of detail. I, I've loved this model for a long time just because he looks so awesome. I mean look at all the little totems, little trinkets, little handcuffs, little keys and stuff that he's got and also this massive fuck off grabber stick here which just looks really awesome. So I thought, you know what, let's bring him in line with my orcs, let's bring him into the current edition of the 41st millennium of Warhammer 40k that we all know and love and I'm really, really pleased with the way he turned out. Absolutely fantastic. This model probably has it's been one of the models that I've taken the longest to paint just because every little time I looked at him I found more details and stuff. Like right down to things like his little plaster that he's got on the side of his face there, the little snake bite logos everywhere, little bags and stuff like that, and even things like the wrapping on his hat on the handle of this um, grabber stick here, and his little bag and stuff like that. It's absolutely brilliant. Just an utterly utterly fantastic model to look. I've even drilled the barrels out as well of his little um, blaster there. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's a really weird looking gun. But I just love him. It's just so much character, especially in his face with his beard and his eye patch and like I say his little plasters and all these little rings that he's got on his ears and little skull charms and things. Just an utterly, utterly brilliant model guys and I absolutely love him. However guys, this is a double bonus for you guys because I also have another miniature to show you. Now, every runt herd, every herder, every slaver needs a squig hound. And with this many grots, you need actually two or three slavers. Um, however, I think I'll probably cut down on the number of grots, maybe by about by about five, so I can just have two slavers. But the thing is I'm going to use as a slaver and a squig hound is this fella, guys. That's right, this is the classic, the old school gobbler miniature. Um, again, I've had him lying around for a long, long time as well, and this is probably my favourite squig model to date. Utterly, utterly brilliant. Chock full of character, chock full of detail, and he's even got little plasters and stuff like he's been fighting with Zodgrod here. And this guy's from Fantasy, this guy's from 40k, and it's a brilliant old school Fantasy 40k fusion that we've got going on here. But it looks like with all the plasters and stuff, looks like he's been fighting with him, which is really, really good. Absolutely love him. Uh, just a really beautiful little miniature, loads of character and stuff like that, and I'm really, really pleased and happy that he's you know, been able to be put in this army. Because he's going to be a little centerpiece, the release. You know, people are going to see him and go, oh, what the hell is that? That's a really old model. Oh my god, he's so cool. Um, but yeah, guys, absolutely love this little fella. So good. I mean, again, I'm going to zoom into some of the details on this guy, because this was another little squig that I felt, oh, do you know what? There's another little model, sorry, that I felt that was just more detailed the more I looked at him. Like his little zippers, he's got all the little veins, little warts and things, the little staples going down his face, and all that other kind of stuff. Even right down to his 
sort of chain that he's got there. I don't really know what that chain is connected to, but anyway, it looks cool. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, I just thought I'd show you these cool little blasts from the past. Uh, really, really fun to paint. If not, they did take me ages. Um, now, I've got to set about basing all these little fuckers, which is going to be an absolute fucking nightmare, because I hate basing stuff. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, that's it for today. I'm sorry there's not been a video for a while. Uh, I've just been getting bogged down with Christmas stuff and starting my own business and things. Um, you guys might be able to see a little sneak peek of something that's coming in the background there as well. Ooh, sneak peek. There's always sneak peeks. Um, speaking of sneak peeks, guys, don't forget to check out the Facebook page where you'll get sneak peeks of other stuff that I'm actually doing, and it's a way of communicating with me um, via the comments and stuff outside of YouTube. Um, so, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Um, I hope you all have a good Christmas. If I don't put out another video until after Christmas, it might be, it might not be. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm quite busy at the moment. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you guys again. See you now, and goodbye.